So today I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to scrape Reddit comments and posts from any given subreddit that you like very easily with minimal code really. And this is perfect if you want to put together a data set for sentiment analysis, say you're doing some trading or you're just interested in some kind of research on Reddit posts. And I suspect I'll be making a few tutorials in the future for how you can make some kind of training bot out of this, which goes against the Reddit sentiment and see how it does. So, okay. What we need really is this repo here called subreddit comments DL. It's only got 19 stars, so it's relatively obscure, but deals with a lot of the otherwise slightly thorny things that we'd have to deal with if we were to interact with the Reddit API directly. Although you can do that using Pro, which is a different repo, but we're just gonna be using this because it makes things real, real simple. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the GitHub page here. So you can just go GitHub, Bistocop, subreddit comments DL, and we're gonna clone this inside our environment over here. So you can go into PyCharm, VS Code, whatever your editor has to be, and just paste it in here. So we'll do git clone, and then paste in the link. And that will come up with our new folder here. If I force it to refresh, there we go. You can see subreddit comments DL. So let's navigate to that folder with cd subreddit comments DL, perfect. And then yeah, you can have a look inside and do whatever else. So we'll have to install the requirements. You can do that with pip. So in, in this folder, which we've cloned, which we've pulled from that repository, there's a file called requirements.txt. And this just lists a load of different modules that need to be installed on your system for this repo to work. So if we do pip install dash r and then requirement And we make sure that we're inside this subreddit comments DL. Press enter. Pip will automatically go through and it will pick up the correct versions of all of these different modules. So we don't have to do that, which is really nice for us. If you don't like doing terminal stuff, you can install them manually yourself. It's just a bit of a pain. Okay, so we see this folder called SRC here, called source. There are two main files that we need to be concerned with. The first one is subreddit downloader.py. Now, you don't need to know what this does or how it does it or anything. We're just gonna be using a simple command line input to get everything to work. So again, from this subreddit comment DL folder, so from this folder, let's go ahead and call this. So we'll do Python source slash subreddit downloader .py. Okay, let's see what happens when we call that. It'll say, you know, missing arguments. We're not giving it anything. So let's give it a Reddit to scrape. I'm going to scrape from XMR Trader here, from Monero Trader subreddit. Okay, and then there's a lot of different options that we need to fill in here not least among them is that we need to put in our API key for Reddit. So this is just like a special password that lets us access the Reddit API. For that, you will need a Reddit account, although you can just make a burner if you want. From there, go to reddit.com slash prefs slash apps, and you should end up on a screen that looks somewhat like this with your username up here. And I'm just going to delete this one for now. But you can see there's a section here that says create application. So you can just create one, call it whatever you like, then create a description for it. And for these URLs, you can put whatever you want in there since it's not actually going to be used in production. This is just for us to script some comments. So make sure it's of type script and then click create. Now you'll get a few things out of this. The First thing up here is the ID of the particular API key here. So we'll feed that in to our system over here. So we'll say Reddit ID. 
and we're just going to give it this. The next thing we'll need is the secret key over here. So this is the secret. We'll give it that. And then we'll also pass in our username over here. So Reddit username. And now that we've gotten all our information from Reddit, the subreddit downloader file here will be authorized to act on our behalf to scrape all the comments. And all we need to do now is tell it how many comments to scrape. So for example, you can say batch size equals 100. And then you can also give it the number of laps that you want it to do. So how many batches do you want it to do of the given batch size that you've given it? So we'll say laps equals one for our purposes. And then you can also put it in debug mode. This will just let you see what's happening a bit more clearly. So with that, we should be ready to go. So you can see here, it just goes through each individual post, requests the comments, and then just yeah, keeps going through it. So I'll speed up while this is in progress, although it shouldn't take too long. And I'll show you the final results and how we can process our output. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and look inside our folder here. And you'll see that a folder called data has sprung up in whatever folder you were running this in. And we can go in there and we can see the raw data that is pulled from Monero Trader here. And this isn't going to be that useful to us. It's just going to be basically a load of nonsense. So we need to use the other script that came with this package in order to convert this in nicely into a CSV. So if we go back to our terminal over here and we call Python src slash data sets underscore builder dot py. What that will do is it will take all of the information in data here and it's going to convert that to a nice data set that we can use. So we've got comments.csv and submissions.csv. So submissions.csv contains the title posts of each comment. So it's got the title and it's also got the self text for each Reddit comment as well as a link to the whole thing and a unique identifier for the post itself, as well as the subreddit. So if I had multiple sets of data in this data column, so say I'd scraped from XMR subreddit, I'd also scraped from the Monero subreddit, I also scraped from the Bitcoin subreddit, and then I call this data set builder, it combines them all into one big CSV, which is nice. Obviously, if you don't want this data to be included, you can delete it when you're done with it and whatnot. Okay, so how do we access this now in Python and do cool things with it? I'll just show you how to get started. So I'll first just start by copying and pasting one of these. So we'll copy the comments.csv here just to a more convenient place. We'll copy it into this folder here. Nope, we'll not add that into Git. Okay, so we've got our comments.csv over here. And I'll also just create a new Python file so we can see what's going on. So I'll call it uh, comment reader.py. Okay, and then let's import pandas as pd. And then set df is equal to pd.read underscore csv. And then we'll do comments.csv. And then we can print that data frame out at the end. So if I run that, that should have no problem picking up all of these different columns in the CSV. Now, let's say we only want the comments and we just want to we just want to print them all out for some reason. You can easily do that by doing something like 4x in list df and then we'll give it the title over here so the top is body is the column that it's going to be saved into so body and then we'll close that one off and then print x
There we go. So that's just going to go ahead and print out every single comment out of the thousand or so that we downloaded for us. There's also another really nice feature about this subreddit downloader, which I'll just go ahead and show you. And it's that you can request comments that are only made between specific time ranges. So I'll show you how that works. So if we go back to our big long command here and I'll just pick a different subreddit just to show you that it does in fact work. So we'll pick a Bitcoin subreddit. And then we can add an extra flag over here and we'll say UTC before. And then we need to give it a UTC timestamp in epoch format. So if you just go to epochconverter.com, it'll convert a particular date into a timestamp that you can then copy. So you can put your date and time in here. And then you just copy this epoch timestamp up here and plug that in. So this will get all of them before this particular time in UTC format. So all co it will get comments only that are made before this specific time. You can also use the UTC after flag over here. So if we look in the comments here, you can see it's got UTC after and it's also got a comments cap. So I'll talk about that in a second. So if I do this and I just let it go, you can see it's now got this UTC range here. So it will now only get comments made before, before a certain time. I'm just gonna cancel that because we don't need it right now. And before we go, I'll just talk about the comments cap parameter. Now that's used if you've got some really large Reddit posts. And by large, I'm meaning more than a thousand comments on that particular post. Sometimes it will take a really long time to download. So one of the things that you can do to mitigate that if you're not interested in those posts is to use the comments cap flag over here. So you can see it down here. And what the comments cap does over here is it essentially replaces a certain parameter in the underlying API. So if you pull this up, you can see the limit here. And essentially, it's the amount of times the API is going to click more comments when scrolling through the Reddit feed. So you can keep that maybe to a smaller integer, like one or two. And then it will be much less likely to get stuck requesting the same page over and over again and trying to scan out you know, a thousand different comments on a single page. So you can add that in there as well. And that helps sort things out. So I hope you found this helpful. It's a really nice and easy to use library, literally one to two lines of code over here. And you can scrape away various Reddit comments from the archives, whether that's for storage, for sentiment analysis, for some kind of trading purposes, anything you want really. And so I hope you found that useful and have fun.